it's sleek, it's cool, oh, it's amazing looking, it's sturdy, it's strong, it's dual zone. Two compartments or a large compartment in an air fryer, this is revolutionary. Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef Farm Rick today. I've got myself a new air fryer. Hi Sapient here, have sent over the new dual zone air fryer oven. There we have it, in this huge box. And not only are they giving away an oven to me, they are actually giving prizes away to you guys. Stick around in the video and I'll explain what they're giving away, how to get it, there's links in the description and you could be walking away with one of these ovens. I can't say any more than that, let's crack on and unbox this oven, come on. As per usual, it is super duper packaged. Off with the plastic. Oh, look at that. That is a cracker. Wow. Let's take the tape off. Oh, look in there. We've got the basket tray, all the instructions. We've got the little glove thing. We've got some small trays. Oh, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Fully stainless steel inside. So here we are. Unbox 22 litre High Sapientia dual zone air fryer it is an incredible piece of kit well made well designed it's got some fantastic features double insulated glass double doors and it has really strong industrial type oven clips it is fantastic a lovely lovely piece of kit it's dual zone it has a separating panel there which you just put in and out and now we have a 22 litre full size air fryer oven it's fully stainless steel inside it has a couple of lights and the heating element is on the top that makes cleaning an awful lot easier there's no heating elements to actually work around the heating element is at the top so you can just clean it out, easy to clean with a stainless steel. That is a fantastic piece of kit. All we've got to do now is get it switched on and show you the workings on here. Now they have changed. This has eight settings on here, eight preset settings or cook settings. And it is variable with the dual zone and you can also use all in one as an oven. This is an awesome piece of kit for a family or even somebody that's single, living on their own, heating up just a little bit of something to eat in one of these zones and you can cook the whole meal in one go, which we will do. We will actually cook the salmon and vegetables and we'll probably cook some chicken and wedges. As you've seen when I unbox the oven, there are so many accessories with this oven. You've got the rotisserie um, rod and prongs for the rotisserie. You've got two baskets, two trays and two racks, obviously for all side. The normal oven, you've got another tray, you've got another rack, you've got another basket. It's a giveaway. It's, it's an absolute must in anybody's arsenal in the kitchen. A fantastic little oven. So that's it. We'll just fire it up, show you a thing or two, and cook a couple of meals. Now, it's not a cooking video as such. It's just a try out to see that the oven can handle the dual zones. Now, obviously, we know this oven can handle a whole zone in the compartment. High Sapientia have mastered that with their 24 litre oven. This is a 22 litre oven 
exactly the same type of oven with the dual zone. Looking forward to using it. Let's show you how it works. Come on. Okay, I've got it plugged in over there. We're going to fire it up very quickly just to show you how easy this thing is to operate. On button. Easy as that. Lights up all of the display. And you can see air fryer, broil, steak, fish, rotisserie. Then we have a light for the compartments. We have pizza, toast, bake, defrost and unfreeze. On here we have number one compartment, number two compartment, which can only be used if you have the compartment divider in place. So what's, what it's actually doing is forming its own chamber on either side there. So for this one, if we wanted to set this on here, you can use the preset settings. You know, you just press the number one, which selects the number one chamber. And as you can see, the lights come on at this side and not that side. And then what you can do, if you're going to cook a steak in there, you could just press the one, press the steak, the steak's lit up. It's telling you already what the time is. Then you would press start. It's going to cook that steak 190 degrees, 12 minutes. To stop, it's very simple. You just press that and it stops. Now, it sounds like it's still working, but what's happening is it's cooling itself down, thinking about it and turning itself off. Very intelligent system. I like it. So we just wait for this to turn itself off, which will only be a couple of seconds or so. But you know, when you're waiting, if it feels like an age, you know. So the, uh, the fan's gone off, everything's gone off, that's it. And then you can just press the off. It's very simple, it's a touch screen. We're all used to touch screens now in this day and age. Um, it works perfectly. So back on and you can select the zones individually. So we can go for zone one and we can select air fryer we have a time of 190 of 20 minutes the temperatures on the left hand side the time is on the right hand side so if you wanted to cook say steak in number one we've got 190 at 12 but you want to cook it an extra two minutes press the up button, it goes up. It's as simple as that. Now we're not going to go through all the features, obviously. You know, they all work independently and you can control them. On here, you have a manual button as well, which you have full control over temperature. So if I wanted to come back to the air fryer mode, you, what you have to do when you change, you have to select where you go in and then select the preset. It's as simple as that. It doesn't work just by pressing everything. So we're now back to the air fryer mode. It's showing 190 at 20 minutes. You have a manual on there where you can alter the temperature and alter the time to whatever you want. Now it will cook 150 for 24 minutes in the number one chamber okay for the dual zone then we can select number one and we can select steak and that is going to cook 190 for 12 minutes now we can go straight to number two which selects the second zone and we can cook so let's go for number two let's go to bake Bake's going to cook 140 degrees for 40 minutes. The steak was going to cook at 190 degrees for 12 minutes. It's telling you which chamber and what the temperature is and the time. So if you hit start, now you've got 190 degrees in this chamber, 140 degrees in that chamber. And it's going to give you the times that we've just set 
12 minutes on this side, 40 minutes on that side. Now you can change the time. Now if you wanted to change this baking time, you would just select the number two, and then you would bring down the time. You are in control. It's really that simple. It's touch only, very easy to operate. It's a fantastic piece of kit, it really is. Now for anybody, you know, that cooks on a budget, I mean, come on, if you're only heating up one side of an air fryer, it's less on the heating of it than it is on the full compartment. That is a huge advantage. If you thought your steak wasn't cooking enough and you wanted to increase the temperature to 205 degrees, but you wanted to bring down the time to nine minutes, you're in complete control. It's that simple. It really is a good piece of kit. Okay, we're just gonna select the off and that is gonna turn it off. We just have to wait for it. It flashes about 10 seconds or more, somewhere around about 10 seconds. It'll flash and then it'll turn itself off. I, I did actually wonder at first when I pressed the off button if it actually was going to turn off and then I realized it's the fan. It's the fan in the oven and everything cooling it off, expelling the hot air and it's the system in there working out I need to turn off and then it turns off. Good piece of kit. And then once it's all off, you can just hit the off button, shut the whole system down. It's, it's really, really good. So that is the dual system in there. Now, do not touch this middle thing without a cloth or something. This is red hot, it's been cooking in there. So what we have now, we have a full chamber oven. Okay, so there's nothing in there. We've got the full chamber oven. We're gonna put up the doors, which as you can see or hear, they are quite sturdy. Okay, we need to put the oven on. Now, this is the advantage of this oven. You've got that dual zone. You can cook in either zone there, different temperatures. Now we're gonna set to cook everything. All there. Now the all selects the whole chamber inside. And then you can obviously click on what you uh, want to cook. So if we cook on broil, oh sorry, click on the all, so it all flashes. Click, click on broil, so it has a broil setting. You can alter the temperature if you so wish, that's a preset temperature, but you can bring that down and you can give it a little bit more time, up to you, and then you hit start. And it's off, it's off and running. You know, that's cooking in that whole chamber. Fantastic design, fantastic. So we don't want to cook obviously, so we're gonna turn that off. So turn it off again, you have to wait about 10 seconds or more of this thing flashing and the fans expelling the air that it's put in there. Really good, you know, and it's warm to touch, it's not hot. It's a nice compact unit. I like it very much actually. This thing looks really smart. That is smart for a home kitchen. A little bit of oil in our potato wedges, some paprika, some salt, a little bit of black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. Give it a mix. Mix it all the way through, chuck it on our wedges, stir it all the way up. Put our wedges on our tray, drizzle with a little bit of oil a bit of oil on our chicken, a little bit of seasoning. And in we go. 
oven on, dual compartment, one on, set for chicken, 190, 20 minutes, second zone, wedges in, 200 degrees, 20 minutes, both should finish together, job done. Okay, so we'll just what we'll do is just dry this salmon off a little bit and then we're just gonna season it just a little bit of oil on there not much over there now this is not a cooking video as you know as such a little bit of salt on there and a little bit of black pepper salmon you would normally cook in the air fryer and you will possibly turn it over halfway so we'll just season a little bit on this side. Now I don't want much seasoning on here at all. So that's our salmon. I've got some parboiled carrot. Now they've only been boiled for about four minutes, somewhere round about there. So we got that, I've got some baby corn and I've got some asparagus. And we're just going to go over there with a little bit of oil. Okay, so we've done the chicken and wedges. This is just going to go in there and this is going to be a big test to see if it does cook different temperatures. I'm going to whack this in that side for about 150 degrees and I'm going to put the salmon in this side at 190. So there's a 40 degree difference. So we're just going to put that in there and we're just going to put that salmon in there. Both sides, so we're going to cook veg in one side, salmon in the other side. There we go. All we need to do now is set the temperatures. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to go for the first one with the salmon in and we're going to cook it at possibly whoa, 195 20 minutes start so we start the salmon off in there and then we're in about so we start the salmon off in here 195 20 minutes and then what we'll do We'll set off the veg in about 10 minutes time and we'll cook that about 150 for 10 minutes and it should be okay. Then we should be able to bring both out together. Okay, salmon looks about cooking. We're going on with two and we are going to set the temperature to about, oops, we're on at two and we will bring the temperature down to about 150 for 10 minutes we're going to do 12 we're going to do 10 minutes just to match up so we've got 10 minutes going on each you can see 195 in the salmon section and we've got the 150 in the veg section let's see what happens now this is a test I just wanted to have a real big difference in temperature to see if it would actually cope with it. You know, it's all right cooking at 190, 180. The temperature is virtually the same. And then you can't tell if the oven is working, you know, to the correct temperatures. This way we can test that, that vegetable being cooked in there because if it was cooked in there at 190, it would be crozzled to death. Let's see what happens. That looks amazing. And that's our veg. The veg looks pretty good too. <laughs> Now I did think we would have to put the veg up more in temperature, but that's got it, you know. 
That has really got it. That is really beautiful asparagus. So what we'll do is just serve it up. That looks tremendous. Look at that. So there we are. All we need to do now is give that little bit of a taste test to make sure it's okay. In here. Let's have a look in here. Oh, you're kidding me. That is perfectly cooked. Oh, that is delicious. Oh. And some crunchy wedges. Oh, man. That, mm-mm. It's so good. That chicken is absolutely, perfectly, beautifully cooked, really tender. Mm. And those wedges are delicious. That is really good. And we've got this fantastic, fantastic side of salmon and these vegetables. The vegetables, soft, with a crunch. Oh, they are fantastic. The salmon, let's come in here. Let's come in here. Oh, look in here. Look at that moist fish in there. That is really, really, Superb, so moist, tender, delicious. So that's just a quick tester on there. What do I think of it up to now? I think it's superb. It handles the temperatures on both sides without a problem. This side was a higher temperature to the veg on that side just to see what it would do. That is incredible. Now that's the dual zone system on this. And that's what I've wanted to feature because I've been familiar with the full zone, but the dual zone we haven't used before. That's incredible. That oven right there has surprised me. I like it very much and I'm looking forward to actually using it. Hmm. So there you go. If you're interested in one of these dual zone ovens, and I think it's incredible, I'm looking forward to using it over the next few weeks, follow High Sapientia on their Facebook page, visit their official website and register your details on there to be entered into a draw. Lucky winner wins this. Two winners win the High Sapientia, 24 litre, 10 win the rolling basket. And you know, the discount code in the description gives you 10% off purchase of one of these through High Sapientia's Amazon link. What a giveaway. What a giveaway. Now, if you like what we're doing, don't forget, smash that like and subscribe. Tune into the next video. And I look forward to hearing people cooking with this oven and telling me all about it. Till next time, take care.